Hello and welcome to my desert abode for two weeks. It's been really cool, very different experience because I literally have only had one day where I've even seen people. That's been nice, but you know, it's different. So anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is because um, I don't have any grocery stores in this town at all. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful, but like middle of nowhere. And yeah, I wanted to share with you guys how to pack for conditions like this and for it to last for two weeks. Let's take a look at what I brought. So the first thing that I started out with were the things that I knew would die, but I really wanted to have in the beginning. So that would be a supply of vegetables that lasted for about a week that are fresh. The next thing is foods that I froze. Um, the frozen broccoli has been weirdly delicious roasted because it kind of releases its water more because it does have more water retained, I think, because of freezing it and it caramelizes in the oven beautifully. I also bought about seven tilapia fillets, which I froze right after buying them. Um, and that was too much, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't just have canned protein. Next big realm of things are canned foods. So I did bring some uh, boneless and skinless Pink salmon, I'm allergic to tuna. This is more expensive, unfortunately, but it's also more tasty and doesn't make me vomit. Then, I have brought beans, lots of beans, because they serve as a protein, of course, but also when you strain them and you keep just the liquid, you can replace eggs with it in baking. I have, of course, brought pasta and pasta sauce as well. Brown rice pasta. I Pinkyata is really good. It doesn't taste gluten-free. It's just lighter for anyone. Then I've also brought stuff to bake because you gotta enjoy yourself, even if you're rationing, which I've been fine, by the way. So, I brought some coconut oil, which I'm almost done with one of these things with. This was for cooking and for baking to replace butter. Then, of course, some gluten-free flours and a fructose-free sweetener. You could bring like agave nectar or something, but I brought this cost of the stuff. Don't love it, but it's what I brought and it's done the job to sweeten my baked goods. And then of course, since it has been a creative retreat and I've been writing songs and, and you know editing videos and stuff, I have no wine left to show you, but I brought wine. And um, also some mezcal, which you saw what I like doing with it. Um, the video that I shared a little bit ago. And then last but not least, I've had to bring cat food for the madame because she travels with me everywhere and she's now the queen of the desert. I have the full list of everything below and on bubblechild.com. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs> I'll see you back in civilization. She loves being on camera with me. Oh. Madame, please, please.